Hi, I'm going to be showing you guys today how to do the HCG trigger shot. This is probably one of the most important shots you do, as you guys already know. Um, this is a really time sensitive injection. Generally, um, you're given very detailed instructions on how to do this and how to mix it the day of the trigger shot. Um, specifically, I'm going to be giving instructions for how Dr. Schur does it with his patients here in Las Vegas. Uh, it might be a little bit different than your doctor prescribes you to do it, so please make sure you're following with what your doctor prescribes. The technique of how I'm going to mix it for the dosage I'm going to be uh, using is going to be the same, but different docs um, do injections in different sites. So again, I'm going to be specific with Dr. Schur. Um, the two, this is always an intramuscular injection. The medications can come in usually one of three ways. You can get, uh, and this is all HCG 10,000 units. You can get a box called Pregnil, brand name. You can get a box called Novarel, brand name. Or you can get a little HCG, which stands for Human Chorionic Gonadotropin, in a little generic box too. It's all the same thing. When you open up the box, you're gonna see, no matter which you get, you're always going to get uh, a bottle of powder and a bottle of water. Now, this is a 10,000 unit dose of HCG. We always give our patients, even though I know you've got plenty of syringes and needles with you, um, I always give you the exact syringe and needle that you use for the injection, so that way there's no problem at 11 o'clock at night when you're going to do this. I know you have everything that you need. Now, to mix the HCG, you're going to get a big bottle of water, and you don't need all this water, and you're gonna get the vial of powder. Now, usually we'll give you a three milliliter or three cc syringe, and it comes with a big ugly needle on it, and that's okay, we just use that to mix with. You're only gonna to need to withdraw out one milliliter or one cc of the water. So you'll open your cap, put your needle in, upside down, draw down to the one milliliter mark on the syringe, throw this water away, I don't need the rest of it. You'll take this one mil, one cc of water, and you'll inject it into your powder of HCG. Give it a minute, swirl it around a little bit, let it dissolve. This is your whole dose. Now with the same syringe and big needle, you're gonna withdraw out all of it. The whole thing is your dose, you're gonna get roughly one mil back out. And there's your, there's your medication ready to go. Of course, we're not gonna use this needle. Now this is where the docs differ a little bit. Dr. Schur prefers to do, and this is always an intramuscular injection. Dr. Schur prefers to do this injection in the deltoid muscle. It's a, that's a little unusual. We've done it that way now for over a dozen years. The reason is he prefers it that way is because this is a smaller muscle and he feels you get better absorption and a higher HCG level in your bloodstream. Most docs do it back here, intramuscular in the old backside. So certainly you may mix it just like I described, but if your doctor prescribes it to be an intramuscular injection back here, then you're gonna do it. Uh, you could watch, I have some videos on progesterone and oil and that kind of thing that also demonstrates how to do intramuscular shots back here. Again, I'm gonna focus on the way Dr. Sure does it for this video. Now what I'm gonna give you, and I'm gonna give you two of them. I always give you two needles in case you drop one or what have you. We give you little one inch, little 25 gauge one inch needles. You'll unscrew this big ugly needle and you'll open up this little one inch needle. And this is gonna go on, because again, it only needs to be one inch because this is a smaller muscle. And we'll go ahead and we'll take off that big ugly needle. We'll open up this little guy. Some people ask me too if you can mix this ahead of time. And you can. You can mix this up earlier in the day, especially if sometimes your uh, injection is like, you know, at 1 a.m. in the morning and you don't want to be responsible for mixing it at that time. You can mix it up a little bit earlier and just keep it in the fridge. So now I've got the medication all mixed up, ready to go, and I've got my little one-inch needle on there. Uh, now, a lot of people are very nervous about this injection just because it's such an important injection. Of course, this is the injection that is given to help mature up your eggs in the fol follicle and to help uh, loosen them up and get them ready for egg retrieval. And it is a very time sensitive injection. Some docs do it 34 hours from egg retrieval, 35, 35 and a half, 36. Again, it varies a little bit. Uh, you wouldn't ovulate you generally from this injection until you've had it on board for about 40 hours. So there generally is a lot of cushion there, though we do tend to be very exact about it because uh, certainly I have seen women who do ovulate early. It is very rare, but it can happen. So we want to you know, be very time sensitive about this. People tend to be much more focused on how to do the injection. I'll be honest, in all of my years experience, I probably um, never seen an error that comes from the injection itself, but rather the errors come from what you just saw me do, mixing it up and getting it ready. So don't focus so much on the injection, you really can't mess that part up. 
it's the mixing and being, you know, getting it ready like this. Now, let me show you how, for Dr. Schur's patients, how we're going to do this injection. Again, this is going to be a deltoid injection. I'm going to have Sam help me out here. Now, this is your deltoid muscle right here. It's kind of like when you get a flu shot or what have you. It's that big muscle right underneath the shoulder, and this is where we're going to do it. Not the back of the arm, that's where the fat is, but literally about three fingers right below the top of the shoulder. That's our big deltoid muscle, and you can see it right there. We're going to use a little alcohol swab, clean our spot, and again, you could do it anywhere in a big circumference right here. And you're, like you've always done most all of your subcutaneous shots, you just always pinch up and you're just all business and you inject. Needle in, plunger down. I don't need to aspirate, it's a smaller muscle, I don't need to do anything fancy. All right, I'm just gonna pinch it up. Needle in, yes, pretty much all the way. And just inject, and we're done. That's it for the injection. That's how simple that injection is. Now, sometimes you don't have somebody to do this for you or help you, or maybe you're, you're one of those kind of controlled people like I am where you want to do everything yourself and you don't want to trust anybody. And it's not a slam against husbands, it's just sometimes we like to do it ourselves or we're low. There is a, a way you can do it by yourself. Now I'm going to have Sam demonstrate here. Basically I want you to find a doorway or a corner of a wall and what you can do is you can use that and what she's doing, she's just kind of pushing her arm up against it there so that way she's bulging out a little bit right here. And what she can do is she can use that syringe herself and just simply reach around. So in other words, she doesn't have a set of hands to pinch it up, but she can use a corner of her wall to kind of push it up a little bit so that, that way she can do it. And again, injection, done. So that's the all important HCG. I'm sure most of you will be running this at about, oh, midnight at night. That way you feel more comfortable with it. Um, this is probably one of the most important injections you do. So certainly if there are any questions about this or there's anything that you think is not right, you can always feel free. Uh, to call through the answering service to the clinic, so I'll always have a nurse on call for you. I think that's it. Good luck.